this is the back panel for our matrix that we're having to construct as the original one is long since lost. It has on it the video inputs and video output connectors and also connectors for control and out again to indicator lamps. So this is the other side. The cables are connected here for the control and indicator circuits, a wire to each pin and the coaxial cables go on to the coaxial connectors. Now for the purposes of this exercise of demonstrating a little bit of soldering and we're going to remove a connector to make it more convenient to work on. Well here I have the connector apart and um, I'm now just going to nip off into the garage and get rather a nice swivelly vice thing which will hold it at a good angle to work on. Here I've laid out some of the things that we will need. Uh, first of all is a drum of wire. Uh, there's the connector which I removed from the panel. And here are some tools. Snips and two tools that can be used for wire stripping. I quite like this one. There's a number of notches in it and you put the wire in according to the thickness and just pull and it strips quite nicely. Or alternatively there's this tool which is a sort of jaw arrangement and um, uh, this is a bit worn but um, seems to work for some wires better than others. I'll not be using that one and I probably won't need the snips because this tool has got a cutting edge here which works quite well. Then there's a soldering iron it's a fairly big tip as I, I like to get a bit of heat onto the job quite quickly and uh, most importantly is the wet sponge used for cleaning the tip. A pair of tweezers are sometimes useful. And here we have the Hellerman sleeves. I don't know how well that shows up. Can you see that? But this is slipped over the wire uh, to provide both protection and mechanical stability. This little jar is Hellerman oil used with the Hellerman sleeves. Oh, it's ah, tight. Ah, it's got it. And here is a cut down uh, cotton bud which is quite useful for transferring a small quantity of the Hellerman oil to inside of the wire sleeving. But we will see that in action at the appropriate point. And finally, here is an adjustable vise. One of the exciting things about soldering is that you never have enough hands. You need to hold the soldering iron, hold the solder, hold the wire, hold what you're soldering to, and that's four items, and I've only got two hands, so by putting this in the vise and setting it to a convenient angle, like that, um, it provides something solid to work on. I've decided to use all the same colour wire on this connector. Um, uh, the alternative would have been to use wire with colour coding on it, but um, uh, I think that all the same colour will be nice. I can sort which wire goes out where with the, uh, the buzzer and buzz them through, so that won't be a problem. Well, what I do need to do is to cut off the appropriate length that is long enough to reach where it's required to go and not be short. It's better to waste a bit of wire than to find it's not long enough. So that was snipped off quite nicely and that can be put out of the way and we now come to stripping the wire. And at this point, if you'll forgive me, I'm going to change spectacles. <coughs> One of the joys of being older is that the eyes don't work as well. So here are my close-up spectacles which enables me to see the wire and that goes in there like that and it strips quite nicely. What you should do, or what you shouldn't do, is to nick any of the wires. You should have a full set of wires there, not be one or two short. And then I'll twist them to give a nice spiral like that. And I've cut it quite long, far longer than is needed, but what is required is it's threaded through the hole in the tag it's threaded through the hole in the tag. It's like trying to thread a needle. Let's try it the other way. 
that's gone through nicely and that then is wrapped round round the back and into that little notch so the wire is now mechanically secured so here I have the Hellerman sleeve and the Hellerman oil and I just take a small dab off the there uh, and put it in there like that and that will enable the wire to slip through very nicely run that up to the end and I'll just leave it hanging there until I've got the soldering done and the iron is now nice and hot and I've cleaned it and I just apply it there like that allow a moment or two for the heat to transfer and let the solder run nicely into the joint like that there I'm pleased with that I've held the wire up like that so it comes off straight now the final thing is to cut off the excess wire there like that blow the dust off so that's the Hellerman sleeve in place and that joint is now done uh, it's quite nice one down 400 million to go